Today is National Trauma Survivors Day, and a couple of our local hospitals celebrated those survivors who told their stories of recovery. At UF Health, five survivors were reunited with doctors, nurses, and other staff members who treated them, including 18-year-old Mandarin High School graduate, this man, who broke his neck just over a year ago when diving into water at Guana State Park. News 4 Jacks reporter Elizabeth Campbell spoke with him and other trauma survivors and tells us about their remarkable stories of recovery. The stories of these trauma survivors are incredible. Many of them had to relearn everyday activities we take for granted, things as simple as opening a bottle of water. But they each credit the staff here at UF Health as the reason they are alive today. <laughs> Applause for the trauma survivors who bravely shared their stories today at UF Health including 18-year-old Jared Hogue. Just over a year ago, he was paralyzed from the chest down after diving into the ocean while on his senior spring break. He's on the left. On the right is his best friend, Sammy, who was with him that day and pulled him from the water, saving his life. What has recovery been like since? My recovery's been really slow, but it's coming along. Um, there's some people who don't get the stuff that I do get back, so I'm very thankful for the things I'm getting back. He credits the doctors, nurses, and other UF Health staff for where he is today and says he has a new appreciation for life. Life is truly a gift, and I am fortunate enough to be able to inspire others. I am so excited for my future. His mentor is Tim Callahan, someone who experienced a similar injury nearly nine years ago while playing flag football. Kind of a routine play, ended up breaking my neck um, at the C3, C4 level and was paralyzed from the neck down. Was told I would never walk again. But as you can see, he proved them wrong. Not only is he walking, he's inspiring others through his Tim Callahan Inspiration Foundation. We do free sports camps for kids and give um, free sporting equipment to kids in need. Each day still has challenges for these two, and their recovery stories are different, but both are doing it in a way that's bringing hope to others. Jared plans to start college classes later this year and hopes to eventually be at the University of Florida as he's a big Gators fan. And as for Tim Callahan, you can find more on his foundation on news4jacks.com. Reporting from UF Health in Springfield, Elizabeth Campbell, Channel 4, the local station.